Good morning. This week, I'm going to be sharing with you what I eat in a week. These are some of my favorite videos to watch, specifically Jen M's. Her kitchen is literally what dreams are made of. My kitchen will not look as nice, but I have been cooking a lot. I make new recipes pretty much every week, and I also rate them all. So I'm just gonna be showing you some of my new favorite ones. For breakfast, I am having a raspberry rhubarb. I am having a raspberry rhubarb muffin that I baked last week, and I'll leave all my recipes down below. Let's give it a try. Mmm. So good. For lunch, I have some leftover roast chicken that I made yesterday. It's my first time roasting a chicken and actually turned out really well. And then I have some leftover hot and sour soup. Mmm. It's still really good. I use the air fryer to heat it up. For dinner, I made a stir fry. You can use any type of vegetables. I use broccoli, bell peppers, carrots, mushrooms, snow peas, and onions, but you can really use anything you want. I also made a quick sauce with mostly cornstarch, soy sauce, and rice vinegar. I also chopped up some of my leftover roast chicken. I sprinkled some Chinese spice spice on top and just pan fried everything. You can eat this over rice, but if you know me, I don't really like rice. So I just have some more leftover hot and sour soup and let's give it a try. Mm. Good morning. For today's breakfast, I'm having the last of my raspberry rhubarb muffins and some strawberries. These are so good. I would definitely make them again. I would encourage you guys to make them. Mm. For lunch, I usually eat leftovers from whatever I made last night because I don't usually have time to cook. So I'm again eating my Chinese five spice stir fry. For dinner, I'm making mapo tofu. I'm Cantonese, so I have bland taste buds. <laughs> Luckily, this recipe is not spicy at all. I chopped some bok choy, mushrooms, and tofu. I pan fried some Szechuan peppers and garlic before adding my meat. I used impossible meat, but you can use ground pork or ground beef. Added my vegetables and tofu in. Oh, and also chicken stock and corn starch to thicken it up. I did make rice this time. Some meals, you just need it. I'm sure some of you guys feel that way about all your meals. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Hmm. I know I'm like, mmm, yum <laughs> to all my meals, but like, these are my favorite recipes that I've tried. So like, they're all good. Good morning. Good morning, Snoot. For breakfast, I'm having one of these, I'm not actually how to pronounce it, uh, but you know, like these glass fancy yogurts. I have the flavor of peach, and then I also have some mango and grapes for a snack. I just love like the creamy texture. And then the little bits of peach. Mmm. That's like the perfect texture. And we have a little mango. This is how I used to eat it as a kid. The grapes are sweeter, so probably should start with this. For lunch, I am having leftover mapo tofu. Mm-hmm. For dinner, we are making something really easy, a miso marinated salmon. First, I cut up some bok choy and snow peas to pan fry with garlic as a side. Then I made a marinade with miso, mirin, soy sauce, and sesame oil. I let that marinate for about an hour. 
which is the perfect time to make muffins. <laughs> this time we are making cranberry orange muffins. First, I combined all my dry ingredients, flour, sugar, brown sugar, baking soda, and cinnamon. Then for my wet ingredients, I added milk, freshly squeezed orange juice, an egg, and vanilla. I combined all the dry ingredients into the wet, added in melted butter, orange zest, and dried cranberries. Back to the salmon, it's been about an hour, so I baked the salmon for five minutes on the thin piece and 10 minutes on the thicker piece. And while the oven is still hot, I turned my oven down to 350 and am currently baking the muffins. But let's enjoy our salmon first. Mmm, snow peas are so sweet. It's so good and so easy. Okay, let's go check on our muffins. Good morning. For breakfast, I'm having a cranberry muffin that I baked yesterday, some strawberries, and then I thought we would try this new oatmeal and yogurt from that same fancy glass brand. Give it a mix. Hmm. I really like the oatmeal bits. Hmm. For lunch, I have leftover salmon. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> For dinner, we are making Kung Pao chicken, which is not as white as it sounds. First, we are marinating some cubed chicken with cornstarch, vegetable oil, and a dash of white pepper. To make the sauce, we are using soy sauce, vinegar, water, sugar, and more cornstarch. At this point, you're probably wondering, are all these sauces the same? Uh, yes. Anyway, I chopped some celery and some scallions, separating the whites from the greens. Now onto the stove, I roasted some peanuts, or you can use pre-roasted ones. I cooked some chicken, set it aside, cooked some celery. I added the whites of the scallions, garlic and red pepper flakes before finally adding it all back in the chicken the peanuts the sauce and now it's time to taste the fruits of our labor it's still too hot hmm Happy Friday! Today I thought we would do something a little special and have a Chinese breakfast. During Chinese New Year, one of my coworkers made homemade tang yuan for me, which is so nice and I've been craving them ever since. So I went to the supermarket and I found this flavor, which is hazelnut and sesame, which I've never tried before. And all I did was boil it and then I added a splash of milk. And then I also have pineapple buns. This is what they look like inside. Wow, it's so chewy. For lunch, I'm having more leftover Kung Pao chicken. For our last meal together, I am making Thai drunken noodles. There is no alcohol in it, but I have something else. <laughs> so we're gonna start by boiling noodles. I'm using these wide rice noodles. And then for the sauce, I am using oyster sauce, 
soy sauce, water, and sugar. I'm slicing up a red bell pepper and snow peas. Can you tell I really like snow peas? And then also some chicken. Onto the pan, we are sauteing garlic, adding some chicken. If it looks like I have less chicken, it's because half of it fell into the sink. I added one teaspoon of fish sauces, which is really gonna give it the flavor. And then I added all the vegetables, the noodles, and the sauce. And to top it off, I added some basil. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. Ooh, and let's not forget about our drinks. I got these online. They are in Asian American hard seltzer called Lunar. Um, they're made by two Asian Americans in New York City and they have the flavors yuzu, lychee, and plum. Which flavor should I pick? Lychee? That's what I was thinking. Oh my gosh. The bottles are so cute. They taste really good. I can't really taste the lychee. Maybe it's like really subtle, but it's really good. 